Hey y'all, welcome into the channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Okay, let's let's get the real Wednesdays a read for next week. Okay, thank you, angels and spirit guides. Um, I guess I need to post whatever that right there was um separately. Okay. Ooh, I don't like that energy. Whatever that was, that's not a ooh, that's not a good place to be in. Not at all. So um, basically, let's clear that. I'm gonna light some sage. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm ready to change my room around. Ready to change this space around. I am. I'm not gonna change it. You could be ready to change something. If somebody's ready to make a change, okay. Well, there's some there's some changes being made. I feel like some things are being moved around. Okay, rearranging energy. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clearing the energy. Oh, if I had a spirit. Hmm. Okay. God says you're in this position like to teach and share. Okay. This is a heavy teach and share vibe. So you could be. Uh, focusing a lot on learning new things yourself. You could be in a state of learning, growth, or expansion. Okay, let's clear the energy. I'm going to get y'all some sage. In you go. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, that's heavy. That's a lot someone's got going on right there. Okay, let's clear it. I don't need, ooh, okay, I'm trying to clear it, y'all. <laughs> I need to go for a walk. <laughs> go outside, okay? Um, let's get to it, though. All right, Wednesday's reading. I am recording this, um, I think, a couple days before the full moon. Today is actually Monday. Okay, so this is your Wednesday's read. Something about the full moon energy is going to be very significant. Okay. You can already start to, for those of you that are in past, um, you probably felt the energy early as that full moon rolled in. Okay, it was rolling in. I don't know what day it comes in, but anyway, something about Wednesday is significant. Okay, I feel a very fresh feeling. I'm feeling fresh, like revitalized. Okay, so we have Throwback Thursday. Yeah, I'm a curse breaker. Winner, winner, winner. Okay, so, okay. You could have recently broken a very strong curse okay sega energy it's some cosmic stuff going on okay i am prolific it says be a pro all right this is some martian energy is what i'm getting okay could be in some martian energy feeling very martian okay <laughs> very connected to your ancestors very ancient all right, you could be feeling extraterrestrial even. All right, just feeling like, okay, I know um, this is what's, what it is. Like, I know this is what's happening. Thank you, Angels and Spirit Guides. Strong energy around you, okay? You need to eat more fruits, okay, and drink a lot of tea, fruits and tea, okay? You might need to fast on today, Wednesday. Wednesday is a good day to fast, okay? Okay, you're about to break some type of curse on Thursday. I would say fast Wednesday and Thursday. So let me get to the notes here. It says, it's being commanded to return, okay? Kuan Yin says, play your flu. This is the energy of the Libra going in. Okay. So you have been walking fearlessly through the shadow of death and your enemies can no longer stomach the taste of you. Okay. I am progressive. 777 energy Tuesday. All right. Something significant about Tuesday. There's going to be some steps um, that you possibly uh, felt ready to take forward or you will the following Tuesday okay 
line it up. I feel like the right people are lined up for whatever this step you're ready to take um, is. Okay, the right people are already lined up. So be fearless. If, if God's got the right people lined up, that means you don't need to worry about nothing. You just need to take the step. Okay, you just need to take the test. You just need to um, sign. You just need to say yes or say amen. Okay, so God can be how they say, let God be your yes to your amen. All right, and so you just need to get in agreement. You just need to agree with the fact that everything is going to move forward successfully. Okay, it says, I am still standing. Big standard, main character, upstand. It's like just have confidence. It's the energy, just be confident here. King of Wands energy is confidence. Okay, the King of Wands energy. Everything else, Sagittarius, could be significant. That's confidence. That's boldness. That's bravery. Okay, courageousness. All right, so be courageous. Be bold. Because you're about to break a curse. Or, yeah. Oh, well, we know that on Throwback Thursdays. Okay, all that, all that darkness with this curse energy, all that awkward shit, it goes back. Okay, so I feel like things are returning back to a different time and space and energy and frequency. Okay, so our frequency is changing here confirmation okay someone's birthday could be in November 11 who's that giving me Libra this is like justice it says I'm a protector have the best day it's a lot of sunflower energy a lot of flower energy okay you could be um what's what's the flower oh this is new beginning energy there's a new beginning here just around the corner it's like when you take this leap when you take this step boom rainbow fireworks confetti celebrate prosperity uniqueness abundance forward momentum progress being progressive progressing for success okay i feel like prepare yourself this coming tuesday to Step in success. Maybe you did that on Tuesday. Because this is Wednesday's read. And they're like, man, whatever you did on Tuesday, bro. Whatever boldness or bold steps or courage or bravery you had on either Monday or Tuesday. Because Monday you could have just been like, yeah, I'm a pro. This is, this is that energy. I got it together. I have it figured out. I know what I'm going to do. Maybe it's you made up your mind. And that was all that was needed was for you to make up your mind. For you to make a decision. For you to get clear or get some type of clarity. And it's like, boom, you got the clarity. Possibly this clarity could have came with this full moon or could be coming with this full moon. That yes, you've definitely broken a cycle. You've definitely broken a curse. This could have been a cycle of curses. Somebody could have been cursing you every moon cycle they could. And new moons too. <laughs> but this is the vibe of you breaking that energy. You, you've broken free. Now I'm getting this Sagittarian energy. But either way, that King of Wands is here. That warrior energy. We also have a Six of Swords energy with this boat. So you guys are moving to a more peaceful time. There's peace. Now, for real, I'm going to read my notes. Okay, back to them. It says, there are, they are like vampires, okay, when the sun comes out. They're dead. Okay, so basically, yeah, this confirms the channeling that I just did. Maybe I will post that channeling on Wednesday. It was supposed to be Wednesday's read, but it just kind of went, it went where it went, okay? And so, I don't know, but basically, the vibe that I'm getting here is that, yeah, these energies that are opposing you, this curse. Somebody could have been sending you their demons, okay? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so somebody was sending you their demons, okay?
their demons. Wow. Because of your cosmic light with your Sega Genesis energy, okay, the demons can't, they can't get near you. That's why they can't stomach the taste of you. Your light burns the demons up. So if this person continues to, oh my God, this person will, oh my God. Okay, so this person will, if they come towards you or put another curse on you, your light could possibly end their life. I'm hearing this is a warning. Someone's gonna drive. Mm -hmm. This is a warning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a warning. Mm -hmm. This is a warning. If you don't stop. R. Kelly. This person's been warned. Oh, wow. So that's why the curse is broken because this person's gonna find value in life. They're going to have some type of um, spiritual awakening, epiphany, uh, crown chakra activation, heart to heart moment. They're going to have a rock bottom moment, possibly. But this person's going to have some type of moment where they they put their they don't put their burdens down. They don't want to do this anymore. They don't want to fight no more because if they continue to fight you, they will die. And that's like not me being cocky, not me being. They will experience some sort of ending when I say death and dying they will experience something in their life or something like that it's going to come to an abrupt end close done the bottom of the deck I'm a superstar dream it we should do it shine Tuesday smart okay something about whatever you said in Tuesday's reading let's see what Tuesday's reading was called because I'm recording this on a different day than I recorded Tuesday Supernatural support from someone throwing stones. Oh, and it was Sagittarian energy. So Tuesday's reading is like, um, and their house is made of glass. They're, they're throwing stones, but their house is made of glass. So it's the vibe where you're protected, but somebody was trying to throw possibly some magic on you. You're protected from this magic, so... This magic, when they're throwing it, it doesn't crumble your house. It doesn't break you down. It doesn't, you don't lose everything. You don't, you end up staying and standing still. No matter what they throw at you, you're still standing. But it's a vibe where with their house, if this energy returns, and that's what they're saying, but I'm afraid that this energy is returning. Throwback Thursday. This person's house is made of glass. Something could happen to this person. the energy but I have to speak on what I'm given to speak on and this looks like what I've been given to speak on it says so as you walk through the valley of death which is this curse you are officially showing fearlessness to the spirit of evil so because you're fearless in this valley of death, which is coming out as this curse, the energies that are in the valley of death, they, they fearing you because <laughs> you, you, you dissolve them. You can kill them. They taste, how do you say, they taste, they can't stomach is your confidence, your bravery, your light, your frequency. They can't stomach your frequency. They can't survive your frequency. So they don't even want to come near you like that no more. Somebody's reassessing how they interact with you. Okay? Your vibration is giving the antidote. Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically it's a vibe where this is like, okay, you're, you're this sacred medicine. You're God's instrument. So basically, when people come into your aura, because if it's saying that you are the antidote, when they come into your aura, your aura 
expands upon whatever energy they're giving you. You mirror it back to them. For some of you, you see their reflection in the mirror. At least that's how they wanted it. They wanted when you looked at the mirror for you to see their reflection or for people to see the reflection of them in you and you in them. Somebody was trying to do some weird shit with this curse. But now that you've identified it and called it out, this energy can no longer use that spell against you. They can no longer use this as a curse against you. Because when you stand in the mirror now, your true reflection is reflecting. Your true reflection is that of the light. You burn big ass up. They can't get in the mirror and be like, I'm I am a Bella subscriber. Their energy is my energy. Because somebody was chanting like that. But they can't do that shit no more. Allowing you to walk and sit boldly on your throne and rule alongside God the Divine. Ra, share your gift. Soul family, Hathar, because this is what you was born to freaking do. Man, it's a blessing to know who you are. It's a blessing to not have to mask your identity. It's a blessing to stand boldly um, before and in the throne of God. Do you hear me? It's a blessing. Like, have the attitude of gratitude. I feel like you already do because Hathor is out here and she's on her knees. She's giving sacred reverence for her gift, for being in position to be able to even share this gift. The divine is like, tell the world about this. Tell the world what you're doing for your soul tribe members. Tell the world, do it, do it. Go up there. This is like a proud parent, right? That wants their kid to like go and every time they have friends and, and they they have company over or something like that, they're like, go go get on the piano and play the piano. Show them how good you are, honey. <laughs> That's what God is saying. <laughs> okay. This is justice. This is order is being restored. So that's all my notes have. Now let's finish out this reading. But yeah, this is like a proud parent getting up there. Get up there, honey. Sensitivity. Get up there, honey, and show them what you got. Forgive. You forgive. You have a heart of forgiveness. You have a heart of forgiveness. Forgiveness is somebody's like superpower. It's your gift. Spirit wants to make that, like put emphasis on that. Your ability to forgive is the reason why you are still standing. You're not bitter. You've released things from the past. You've assessed them. You've done and been humble enough to do some major inner child healing work. To look at things um, unbiasedly within yourself, which is very hard to do. It's hard to look at yourself and judge yourself for your flaws. It's hard for your mistakes. But God says you were called to do so, and you've done so, and you've proven that you're a healer. So you're protected. Your gift is protected. Your ability to go out and heal is protected. You are a protector as well. That's why. Since you have the heart of forgiveness, you go into things. You don't expect anything out of anybody. You just go in vulnerable, open, from a confident, loving, nurturing space. It's giving me Virgo. You just go in being of service. I feel like how people interpret that is it's never been up for you for debate. It's it's up to however they interpret it. You've had this heart that's a heart of gold. You stood stood fast in what it is that God has asked you to do, called you to do deemed you worthy or anointed you to do you've been ridiculed you've been disrespected highly and bluntly God is like but he sees you as rare rich royal this is 
rich in royal energy. This is, I'm a savage, attitude nasty, <laughs> okay? But it's a vibe where it's like you are classy, still. You're everything that God has called you to be. Whoever you are, I feel like God is pleased. I'm telling you, that's why he'd be like, baby, get up there. And, get up there and do that right there. You're a superstar. Hell, this is the end of a cycle. This signifies the ending of a cycle. I'm loving this energy. I don't want to get out of it. 20.53 on the clock. There's a partnership of abundance coming towards you. I just heard Ashley. Is somebody at my door? Your vibration is giving the antidote. So your vibration is very potent right now. Okay. You're pressing off a lot of healing energy. Okay. Um, you're giving off just walking in a room, people being around. Oh, that's why God has. Okay. So God could be putting you in hermit energy. Okay. Um, because your energy is, it's like, God is saying your energy is crystallizing. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that your energy is like, it's very potent. This is like, don't let anybody touch you right now, energy. Don't let anybody really interact with you. Like, you just kind of need to be off to yourself in this time right now, okay? Because um, you're a, there's an ascension. You're ascending, okay? There's an ascension here. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for clear and concise messages. Clear. There's a lot of clarity coming in for you, okay? I'm seeing the sun energy. Opiuchus, divine warriors. It's the energy of the chosen, okay? The warrior. I'm sorry. This is the energy of the warrior, okay? We got Scorpio. Yeah, you're going through a transformation. There's ascension and transformation here. Okay. Energy of the moon is here as well. We got Libra. I told you there was some type of justice coming in. Justice that restores. These scales is about to balance out. Baby, that's what's coming to light, Leo. Okay, that's what's coming to light. These scales is about to balance. Cancer. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we got Pisces. All right, I'm a superstar. Pisces. Yes, this is definitely ascension energy. You've ascended, yo. Whew. Something could have been trying to weigh you down. I just feel that weight just lift off my shoulders. It went out through my crown. Just, it just came right off me. Just right then. Like, I just felt a really lightness in my, even in my stomach, I felt like. It's the energy of the high priestess. I feel light flowing through my body. Just light. Share your gift. Soul family. That's what they want the chosen to do. Sensitivity. Have a heart of compassion. Have a heart of forgiveness. Because you're a healer. And that's what's needed. Like, you got to have that. If you're a healer, you call yourself. I don't care what type of healing work you do. You have to forgive. You have to have a heart of forgiveness. You have to. Because if not, then that means you call yourself a healer, but you're not healing. You're trying to heal somebody. And healing is a process. Like, you got to at least be striving for it. Not saying that we are already healed and all of this, but what we're saying is, like, you are daily striving to evolve, striving to be better, striving to grow, striving for improvement. You never get complacent. Never think that, oh, yeah, that's it. No, no. Okay? Give all glory to God. Okay? It says beautiful, a few kiss. All right? Like, give all glory to God. This is also higher enlightenment energy. This song is by DJ Khalid. Okay. Oh, my God. 
You could be listening to like old music. Okay. Old songs. They like tap into them oldies but goodies. Okay. Um, depending on what years seem old to you, but tap in. Okay. Um, maybe this evening. It says, I'm a superstar. Usher. I mean, I'm a superstar. It says superstar by Usher. <laughs> you have so much loyalty with this pink rose, Scorpio. That pink rose is showing up twice. You have the loyalty there, okay? Their loyalty. It says chrome hearts, yoga time. Okay, you could, um, Libra, yoga would be really good, all right? It relieves stress and anxiety that the body can maybe like tension as you're going through this. Um, there could have been a lot of pressure applied, okay, on the warrior, you being this warrior. Maybe you've been bearing a lot. You've been holding a lot in or something like that. God is saying you're about to feel, you're about to feel free, liberated, okay? I'm seeing the energy of a pyramid as well. It says, didn't you know Erica Badu Machete energy down here? There's the pyramid. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the key of life, Leo. Okay. Shango energy is here. Shango. Forgive. You must forgive. Okay. Um, and we have Top Off. Cancer. I took the Top Off the Maybach. Okay. Um, this is by uh, DJ Kylie. Feel the buzz. Feel the buzz. Okay. I'm getting, can you feel it? Can you feel it? I don't know. Take it as it resonates. There's another pyramid. So this is some ancient energy that we're talking about. This is some past life energy. Maybe in a past life, you didn't have the heart of forgiveness. And God is 27 on the clock calling you for this cycle, this lifetime. You need to forgive. Because your forgiveness is your freedom, is your ascension. Okay, we got infiniteness here with the infinity symbol. <gasps> Do y'all see that damn pink rose? We got another pink rose. There's messages. I feel like terms of endearment coming in or something like that. Okay, a few kiss. That song is Reconstruction of the Heart. Okay, by Syrah, Divine Feminine. All right, your ancestors are hitting some sort of buzzer. That's the ancestor buzzer right there. The little like, mm, etiquette please. Mm, uh, uh, it's like a classroom bell, like, sit down, class. Y'all doing too much. I don't know, something like that. Take it as it resonates. <laughs> well, we got Happy Hump Day, Wednesday for your love. Okay, um, this is a very overcoming energy, Scorpio. This is an, a, a card of overcoming because this person is flying on top of this, whatever this is. It's also the dragon energy. This is an energy where you're very protected, Scorpio. Okay? Your light is protected, Scorpio. For your love, I would do anything. There could be someone standing up on your behalf or standing up, you know, 